Hey, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can remove the necklace from this photo um, in about under two minutes. So I'm going to go fast enough that I don't waste too much of your time, but hopefully thorough enough that you understand um, the simple process uh, that Photoshop really has made for us uh, to do a task like this. So the first thing I want to do is create a new layer. The reason why we actually want to do all the effects on another layer is it just allows us to be um, more reversible um, and fix any anything that we might happen while we're creating this effect. Now I want to come over to the tools panel and select healing brush tool. So what the healing brush tool does is it's kind of like the stamp tool where you actually choose an area that you want to mimic and pull that into a part of the picture that you want to change as well as once you create that stamp it will blend in the surrounding areas. So we want to make sure that we have all layers selected. This allows us to be working from layer one and actually pull and manipulate stuff from the bottom layer or the background layer. So now holding Alt or Option key, we want to select the area. So you just hold it down and you click on the area that you want to mimic. And then you see, zoom in here a bit. You see my cursor is actually showing the skin tone from over here, right where the necklace is. So when I click and move the cursor away, you see that it actually isn't what the circle is displaying because it blends it at the same time. So now we can start up here and just go over and you see that it'll blend, go back and forth. So what happened with the white is because my I started over here, it actually thought that it wanted me to pull some of the white shirt over here. Things so blend it. Use a, a bigger brush. Go back and forth. And then once we get closer to the shirt, we want to be a little more delicate. Use a smaller brush. And as you see that I've kind of blended in the, the white with um, the skin tone. So here I can actually just hide the background image. And this is where we can fix errors like that as we just erase it off the first layer. And then select the healing brush again, put the, back, the background layer back on, and then we can go back in there and just have more of a delicate touch. Zoom out. Just got to fix up here. And it's almost better if you use larger strokes. It just allows Photoshop to see where you're going and render and blend the image a bit better. So now when we zoom back out to the full image, this is the final effect. Original, final. So there you have it. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, feel free to share it with a friend, feel free to comment, like it, uh, or subscribe to my channel. I have many more tutorials available, and if you check down in the description, you can see a link to the rest of my tutorials. Okay, have a great day guys.